If you're someone who's looking for an e-bike that you want to fully customize it down to the style, the paint color, all the accessories, then Electric Bike Company is a great option to allow you to do that. They are a little bit more expensive, but they provide a really seamless experience and a really good quality e-bike. So in this video, I want to show you how to actually customize it and then what it's like when you actually receive your e-bike. So. Here it goes. Step one, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to their website, which is electricbikecompany.com. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to this customizer tab in the left corner and go to design your bike. As you can see, you can design helmets or your child seat as well if you want to, but today we're just gonna show you how to design your e-bike. So you go here and then this is where you get to pick out what kind of e-bike you're looking for. They have Model C, Model S, Model R, Model A, you can see them all along the top here. Model J is kind of like a moped style bike. They all kind of have different features and you can read right here on the side what they are. But the e-bike that I was most interested in and the one that I'm gonna go with in this demonstration is the Model R, which means rugged. So it performs a little bit better off-road because it has thicker tires, a little bit more comfortable of a seat, and you can see that the battery is actually embedded into the frame. So that's the style that I'm looking for and that I'm most interested in for where I live and how I ride. So starting off on the right hand side, you can see right here it says frame and this is where you can choose your frame color and they have a ton of different colors to choose from. You can go yellow, pink, this purple color, blue. So you can really get creative and pick a nice looking paint as well. So the color I'm gonna go with is Kong Red. This just looks nice. I don't have a red bike like this, so let's do it. And then you go down to the fork suspension. You can choose that to be any color you want. And I'm just gonna match that to my Kong Red paint as well. Then it goes to the wheel size. You have 26 inch or 24 inch. The 24 inch would probably be if you're a little bit shorter, that would be right for you, but I'm just gonna leave it on 26 inch. Then you can customize your chain guard, which I'm gonna go Kong Red as well. I just want it to look all very similar, but you can mix and match and go wacky if you want to. That's totally cool as well. I've seen some cool looking bikes like that, but for my style, I just wanna keep it similar and the same. Then you're gonna come down to the rim section and I think I'm gonna go with black rims. That looks pretty sweet. Next, you can see the tires. They are 26 by three inches and I like these tan colored ones. They look cool. They look kind of retro to me. So I like this classic look. That's what I'm going for. Kind of a classic feel. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm going to pick for that. And then you can see I already have black spokes selected. And then right here you can choose the fender style if you want a sport fender or if you want the low profile ones. And I like the low profile look and I feel like they offer a little better coverage as well. I'm not gonna be rough riding on this e-bike. I mainly wanna take it out cruising, but I live on a lot of back roads and dirt roads. So I like having fenders and I like that the bike is a rugged or the R version. So that's what I'm gonna go with there. Then you can choose what color fenders you want. Again, let's just keep it red. And then down here you can choose the battery, which it's currently at 12 amp hours, which is their standard version. And you can see if you hover over it that you get 60 mile range, or you can upgrade for $400 to get 70 mile range, which that's what I'm gonna do. And you can even upgrade it further, even more than that to be a 21 amp hour. But when you do that, it you have to get the basket because the basket has a battery in it. And I don't want the basket. I just want the regular headlight, so. I'm just gonna leave it at 14 amp hours. That's good enough for me. Then you can choose if you want to have a front attachment on this, like a basket or a rack, and I don't really care for them. I like the look of the headlight. The headlight looks kind of retro to me, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's see, rear rack, do we want a rear rack? Yeah, we do, yeah, we do. It looks nice. They're super functional as well. Kong Red. Accessories, you can choose to get a basket of some sort. I don't need a basket, no. Handlebars, let's see, what style do you want? You can choose the mountain bike look, the chopper style, or the BMX look. I do like the BMX ones, they are pretty cool to me, but I love the cruiser setup just because it is so comfortable when they wrap towards you. You don't have to like lean super far forward. So I am a leisurely rider, so I'm gonna choose the cruiser handlebars. And then you can choose what kind of trim you want. Do you want silver trim 
or do you want black trim? To me, black looks awesome. You can choose, do you want a standard seat, a tan seat? You can choose to get like a, one of these chopper looking seats. Those are kind of cool actually. Get a little backrest on that, kick back, take a little nap while you're riding your bike, you know? Grips, tan leather or tan rubber. I like the leather. I like that stitching up there, if you can see that. I like that little stitch, looks cool. And then for your seat post, you can choose to get a little bit of suspension spring in there. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it's more comfortable when I ride it. Do you want a surfboard rack? No, I do not. And then drivetrain, um, right now it's set to a single speed, which I prefer a seven speed, if I'm not gonna lie. So let's do that. Seven speed, comes with the thumb throttle, awesome. Uh, and then you can choose to get an upgraded technology package. So you can choose none, or you can choose to get that upgraded technology package. And you can see that it comes with an alarm system, upgraded electronics, like the headlight and stuff. And then it comes with this little toolkit as well. So I am going to choose to get the upgraded technology package for $400 more. And then do I want a torque sensor? And yes, I always choose to get a torque sensor because it's a much more natural ride when you pedal your bike instead of a cadence sensor. So torque sensor is a win for me. So there it is. I just customized my bike. I will add it to my cart. You can see my total came out to $3,519 and this e-bike will come fully built so I don't have to put the front tire on or anything crazy like that. Assemble the rear rack. So that is a plus. Now let me show you what it's like when you actually receive it. One of the nicest toolkits I've had so far. It even comes with an air pump, comes with all your wrenches, these little cutters, other tools that I have no idea what they do, but it comes with this nice little kit and it looks very professional. This thing is nice looking. Holy smokes, I thoroughly enjoy it. Nice looking bike. I also got the anti-theft alarm system and when you open it up, it's nice because it shows you that it was built by Shane and it was inspected and tested by Joey. So they already test it. They already make sure it's running and in proper working condition before they send it to you and you run into issues. So I really enjoy the shipping and the receiving process of this all. It's been very smooth and I know I got a reliable product that has been shipped to me because it's already been tested. Oh, that is a lard alarm system. A lard, that is a loud alarm system. So there it is, that's how you fully customize your e-bike and that's what it looks like when it gets shipped to you. If you're interested in this brand, I'll put a link in the description below for you to learn more about them. And if you want to see more about the e-bike itself, I will have other videos that talk about all of its features and its riding capabilities. So be sure to watch those if you haven't already.